We continue with the number five pick of the draft. Somewhat of a surprise, or was it? Thomas Robinson in many mock drafts going number two. Instead, he is going to be a king at number five. What did you think of that? Well, this draft is not so much about getting franchise players. You're going to get impact players, and when you start drafting for impact, you got to go get guys that fill needs. And if you look at Sacramento, I think at number five, they got to feel like this is a great value because Thomas Robinson gives them a guy who is going to be a motor in terms of his ability to get after it in the paint. I think he's going to be an explosive offensive rebounder as well as a defensive rebounder. He's unpolished in terms of his ability to score with his back to the basket, but playing alongside a guy like DeMarcus Cousins, I think that will allow his game to mature offensively. He's proven the ability to knock down a mid-range jump shot as well, but I think his motor more than anything is what's going to benefit Sacramento, a team that at times I felt did not play with passion or energy. Well, it's a difficult thing to calculate, but what about uh, his attitude? in terms of going to the Kings and the hard work that you know this young man is going to do night in and night out for a Kings team that sometimes slips off the rails. You know, that's a great point, Vince. The fact that this is a young man that each year at Kansas, he showed tremendous improvement and the fact that he also was humble enough to take a back seat to the Morris twins when they were there. Remember, he did not get to blossom really until this past season, but he bought, he, he bit his time and he also, I thought, with his approach to the game was the perfect fit for Kansas in college. I think he could be a really good fit for Sacramento on a professional level because this could be the type of situation where he's not a guy that needs the basketball to be effective and they got a lot of guys that want to put it in the basket. He gives them some defensive toughness and I think a guy that's going to bring that hard hat to work every day. Could be good fortune for the Kings to have him Absolutely. fall to five. That's going to do it for our draft coverage for now, but stay on NBA.com for more.